Hello, Shreveport Bossier. This is Chris Hayes. Guess what? We have a new reaction video with Phil Dumphy on Modern Family. This is his best video real estate clip. So uh, this ought to be a lot of fun because Phil's a lot of fun. So let's get rolling. Like a great salesman, it's no big secret. You just follow the ABCs of salesmanship. Always be closing. Don't ever forget great home ideas. Just keep lurking mostly nearby. Often people question realtors' sincerity. Take umbrage. Violators will... Oh, shit. That sucks. Oh. <laughs> so you know what? Uh, we've had it at Prey for millions of years, it seems like. And maybe I'm exaggerating. It's not been millions of years. But ever since the sales business has uh, probably been founded and, and uh, skilled and, and evolved. So anyway, but in the real estate business, always be closing is simply asking a series of questions so that we can determine what the problem is that needs to be solved or what the consumer's need is and how we can help find or remedies for their needs or solutions to their problems. So always be closing. Let's go, Phil. And this is the great room, although great hardly seems to do a room like this justice. Weird, squiggly painting not included. I actually love it. I do too, it's really beautiful. Um, all, all custom built-ins, and you'll notice just, just tons of natural light, so that's great. Did I need the sale? Yes. Was I worried? No. Why? Because. Because why? Because I won't sell anything I don't believe in. A couple of things that's kind of interesting in the real estate business that I have learned, just because something in a house that I am showing or that I'm selling uh, may not be something particularly of my taste, does not mean that I need to push that on to somebody else because that's one of the unique things about being human is that we all have different tastes, right? So um, I have found it a good practice um, to zip my lips when it comes to uh, pointing out my opinions about cosmetic items unless I'm asked specifically by the consumer because you never know you know that might be something they have in their house or it may be specifically something they're looking for uh, Phil also says something really interesting here and I believe in it a lot I won't sell something that I don't believe in if I blatantly know there's some issues with something that I observe or that I know about this property, I'm gonna go ahead and let my clients know ASAP. Uh, it's always better served to disclose uh, versus have to deal with some sort of repercussion by non-disclosure down the road. So let's keep going. I wish we could live here. I wish you'd go back out to the patio. Do work. you really? Oh yeah, our house sucks compared to this one. It really does. Hey, titans of residential real estate. That's right, I'm talking to you, Sandy Brewster, Skip Woosnam, J.J. McCubbin. Hear those footsteps? That's Luke Dunphy, and he's gonna drink your milkshake. I love Phil, who can't love Phil? You know, in the real estate sales industry, uh, there is some competition. Most of it tends to be on the friendly side. Uh, however, there are always uh, those of us looking to do more deals or do more volumes and uh, maybe say we're number one in something. But at the end of the day, you know what really matters is if you take care of the people, the people will take care of you. And just people, um, they perform at different levels, right? Not everybody is created equal. If I ever used my child as a sales tactic? <laughs> in fact, I'll tell you a fun story. Back a bunch of years ago, I used to have a partner in real estate and uh, this gentleman used to, uh, he just had their first son born and he used to run around with this little baby boy to all his appointments. So you know what's kind of cool? You can use kids to get a little bit of the sympathy thing. Um, me personally, I, I haven't used uh, my child a whole lot in the sales side of this. I don't know what to say that. Have I used your brain? Not that I'm aware of. So you know what, the, the, one of the versatile cool things about real estate as well is there is flexibility and versatility in the real estate industry. So um, parents being able to come and go or to take kids to a showing or to get a quick signature done or something along those lines. So no, me personally, um, never had a kid. Maybe I need to think about that. That might be a good idea. Hey, Dana, you want to have a baby? Maybe with the money you saved on private schools, you paid for the new two-sided brick fireplace I saw, which hasn't been legal since 1988. Go, Phil, go! Pull the sauce, Big Al. Or Monday morning. 
The city's here with a bulldozer, and your grandson goes to a school with a metal detector. How do you know all this? What are you, some kind of real estate agent? Oh, he's a realtor. There is a difference somehow. <laughs> Hold up there. I don't know the laws that well. There are not many of us real estate agents or realtors uh, that know the law that well. Um, interesting note, to be a real estate agent, you have to be licensed within the state in which you're practicing. Now, just because you're licensed as a real estate agent doesn't mean you're a realtor. In order to be a realtor, you have to be a member of the National Association of Realtors, who is uh, way back when. I'm not going to even guess the year, but it was before I was born. And uh, they established a code of ethics that uh, we realtors have to abide by in the practice of real estate sales. It's like being on a submarine, right? <laughs> you guys uh, fans of Tom Clancy? How did we get on the second floor? Isn't it great? There's an imperceptible rise. So you guys can either reverse course or take turns sliding down the fireman's pole. You never know what you're gonna run into in the real estate uh, sales business. In, wow, houses, there, there's a myriad of different uniqueness that occurs in the real estate business, especially when you start picking up some older houses like in the South Highlands area, or custom houses that also have a lot of unique features to them, like hidden rooms and those kinds of things, which is kind of cool. Silence. A realtor knows it can be one of the most powerful tools in a negotiation. Some people crumble and feel the need to fill the space. Not this guy, I don't need to talk. Just watch how silent I can be. The other guy's blabbing while I'm 100% wordless, sounds words, on mute, having the confidence to not say a darn thing. And what's the old phrase? Silence is golden and duct tape is silver. So really it's interesting. Um, when you actually ask a question and you allow a pause for somebody to think about things um, and don't be so hurried to fill the void of silence, um, you really can learn a lot more about what it is that people are thinking in their minds or what questions they may have about a decision. Um, so just be quiet and listen, and that's how you learn. A slow home buyer is a no home buyer. Navigating the real estate world requires cat-like reflexes. Uh, no, that's too early. <laughs> that's right, cat-like reflexes. Yeah, it takes cat-like reflexes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, you gotta love Phil Dunphy. He is, he is the quintessential real estate agent for the, of the modern uh, television, so for modern TV. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction to this. And um, if there's something that you have some input on, please check down below. We would love to talk to you about this and see if you enjoy this and uh, let me know what your video thoughts are and like and subscribe to us. We're looking to grow our channel and uh, we'd like to make you a part of it. Have a beautiful day. Reach out if we can do anything for you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.